Hey, babe. Uh, how do you always manage to be this warm? That's like, super unfair. The air in this room is downright arctic. Like, I'm pretty sure we're this close to seeing our breath condense in little puffs. Then I'm all buried here, under a whole stack of blankets, and I'm still freezing. And you have one leg sticking out from under your duvet. How do you do it? Do you have some kind of built-in heater or something? For real. According to the laws of physics, that leg should be blue and frozen by now. Huh? Not that cold. Are we talking about the same bedroom? What does it take for you to get chilly? One foot of snow on our covers? Seriously, the only way I can survive here is by snuggling into you as closely as possible. You don't mind though, right? <sighs> oh, you are so toasty. <sighs> Hey, Strahob, thanks again for letting- Oh my gosh, I am so sorry, I didn't know you, um, uh, were- I'll- I'll just go back to my room. Sorry? Something wrong? Why would you go back to your room? Did you forget something? If you want to bring an extra blanket, that's a terrific idea. I do already have, like, four blankets, alright, but I'm still freezing. So hurry up and get in here already. What do you mean? Is this some kind of joke? Um, no. I thought we were all going to cuddle, I mean. Didn't you, like, complain all day that you were too cold and couldn't sleep at all last night? So, what's up now all of a sudden? Mm. Sorry, babe? Oh, yeah. She said she's cold, and I told her that I was cold as well, so I invited her into our bed to cuddle. No, I didn't tell her you'd be here too. I sort of assumed she would figure that out on her own, I guess. What? No, this is not a joke. You know me, I never joke about my cuddles. Cuddles are a serious matter. So, are you getting in here or what? Um... I... Okay, one of us must have gotten something completely wrong here. Oh, are you for real now? I mean, you've been complaining all day about how freaking cold you were all night. And since I tend to run cold as well, and know the struggle, I thought it'd be nice and invite you to come over and cuddle. And I'm sorry, but if I understood you correctly, it seemed like you rather appreciated the invitation. Yeah, but I didn't know he would be in your bed. Well, he is my boyfriend. Where else would he be at this hour? Yeah, I don't know. I thought maybe he'd be going out with his buddies tonight or something. Well, as you can see, he's not. So, will you stop whining already and get your ass in here? And close that door behind you. I was trying my best to seal in what little warmth we got here. So you two won't have to defrost me before breakfast tomorrow morning. Okay, you cannot be serious about this. Girl, I told you I never joke about my cuddles. So could you please hurry up? Man, what even is your problem? Um, he is in your bed. And he is like your boyfriend. Yeah, that's sort of the point. He is super warm. Just wait until you snuggle into him, it's amazing. He'll bake you right through down to the core. You'll love it. <laughs> oh, I know. You should have him spoon you. That way you can put your cold feet seas on his thighs and get them all heated up. Oh, that's the best feeling in the world. Don't you think you can hog him all night, though? After a while, I expect you to trade places. After all, I have cold feetsies too. 
I was under the impression it would just be two of us cuddling tonight. So you can put those icy cold feet of yours on me? Don't you dare. That's what we got him for. But he is your boyfriend. Yeah, of course he is. Do you think I would just snuggle with some random dude? What do you take me for? That would be weird. Okay, I have no idea what is going on right now. Or what kind of weirdo plan you had for us tonight, and what direction you intended for this to take, but... I'll just go before something happens that each one of us will regret in the morning. Wow. Okay. I have no idea what you were thinking you'll do with my boyfriend tonight, but let me assure you, we will just cuddle for now. So take your mind out of the gutter, hun, and get in here already before I change my mind. But I don't want to. Yeah, but why not? I'd ask if you got cold feet, but I know that you already had them to start with. It's kind of the reason why you wanted to cuddle in the first place, after all. Why are you so upbeat about this? This entire conversation is wrong on so many levels, I can't even no, begin to- No, please stop it. Chill out. We've cuddled so many times already. How is this any different? Um, boyfriend? Come on, I know you want to. You're shivering, your feet sees are all cold, you can't sleep. Just shut up and get in here already. You can all snuggle up, I can nuzzle into your chest, and we'll be all warm and toasty until tomorrow. Come on, stop being so bloody awkward already. This is crazy. You are crazy. Nope. This is cuddling. Do you really not want to? Huh? No, not you, honey. You get no say in this. I was asking her. See? Even he thinks this is crazy. Yeah, that's why we're not asking him. And now, get under my pile of blankets already before I get out and drag your cute little ass over here. Now, you keep out of this. I told you already we're not asking you. This is something between me and her. You're just here because you're the warmest of the three of us, and because I happen to be crazy about you. So shut up, drop that attitude, and get back to snuggling me. My butt is starting to get cold. Oh, you can't be serious. You can't seriously want to kick her out of our bed in this cold, right? I mean, just look at her. She's shivering. No, I don't care that she doesn't want to. It's cold out there. This is for her own good. Yeah, he too thinks that this is a really bad idea and that we shouldn't be doing this. Thanks, man. Hey, don't you two start outlying against me. I am the voice of reason here. It's cold, you are cold, I am cold, and he is warm and cuddly. It's just the obvious thing to do, really. Okay, this is way beyond my weirdness threshold. I'll just go now before you talk me into doing something that I really shouldn't do. Oh, will you stop being such a drama queen? You always do that. You always talk me into doing weird stuff. You come up with some crazy shenanigans that every halfway normal person would not even consider doing, and then you try to pull me into it. And I tell you that I don't want to, but you just go on and on and on and on and keep pestering me. And you don't even let up until you pull me into your weird stuff. And then we both get in trouble. Wow. Is this still about that thing with Miss Conrad's wheelbarrow? Back when we were like 12? No, this is not about Mrs. Conrad's wheelbarrow. This is about you trying to coax me into snuggling with your boyfriend. And that's a bad thing because... Sorry, what, baby? Oh, Miss Conrad's wheelbarrow? Did I never tell you that story? Okay, Miss Conrad was the old lady who owned the lot adjacent to my parents' garden. She had this old red and yellow wheelbarrow and... Don't tell him that story. Will you come to bed if I promise not to tell him? Okay. You're insane. You are just absolutely insane. You hear me? This is not just weird. This is not just crazy. This is 100% clinically tested certified insane. 
I'm best friends with an insane person. Huh, sweetie? I'm not insane. I'm cold. And my honey bun here, even though he's super hot and super snuggly, cannot warm me up from both sides at once. And that's why I need another snuggle bunny. And I happen to know that you enjoy a good cuddle, so... Okay, can we talk about this? You know, like, in private? Wait, do you really expect me to get out of bed? In this cold? Yeah, um, I kinda do, actually. <sighs> okay, you really are the worst, you know that? You're going to regret this. Okay, so, what is it? What is it? That's my line. What kind of game are you playing here? What are you trying to get out of this? Cuddles? Yeah, but that's what you already have your boyfriend for, so you can cuddle him. No, I meant cuddles for you. I mean, you're all alone in your bed, you're shivering, and therefore, cuddles. Yeah, okay. That's super nice of you and everything, but why can't you keep your boyfriend out of this? Um, because he's warm? And if I remember our last cuddle session correctly, you are probably the only creature in the observable universe whose feet are even colder than mine. So cuddling you without him would kinda not be that smart. Ugh, okay, I can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. I can't believe you are serious. Why are you so casual about this? Won't you get, like, jealous or something? Well, I'm confident in love with my boyfriend, that's all. So I don't think that after just one night of cuddling with you, he will suddenly break up with me because he can no longer live without the enthralling, tender touch of your icicle feet. Come on, I'm not inviting you to a steamy threesome. I'm just inviting you to some sweet, innocent cuddles. You know, put your arms around me, nuzzle under my chest, fall asleep while I stroke your back. It'll be cute. You'll love it. I promise. Strop, listen to me. I just can't do this. Mm, but we've cuddled before, remember? I can't do this with him. Why not? Don't you like him? Do you have some sort of problem with my boyfriend? No, I... It, this is... Uh, why do you have to... Come on, babe, spit it out. What is it? What is your problem? Did he ever say anything to you or stuff? Like, something rude? Because I know he can be a dick sometimes, but he doesn't mean it. He just sometimes talks about thinking first. But he's a total sweetheart. You'll see. No, that's not it. Okay, then what is it? What's the big deal? Come on, girl. You're my best friend. We live together. Talk to me. I can't. What? Why not? You will hate me for this. Um, no, I don't think so. Come on. Remember the circle of truth? How we promised to always be honest with each other? You mean back when we were nine? Yep. And I hereby activated, I invoke a circle of truth. So, what's your deal? You will hate me for this. <sighs> Come on, dude. Circle of truth. You know the sacred rules. Don't make me tickle you until you give in and tell me. Okay. Um, I have something to confess to you. You are gonna hate me for this. I... I might have a bit of a crush on your boyfriend. Um, I know. What? Well, yeah, like, you're not exactly being subtle about it. Everybody knows, so, except for him. But he is oblivious. It, it, you cannot be serious. This is not happening. Did you even understand what I just told you? Hey. It's alright, I promise. Calm down. Come on. You are my best friend. We're good, I promise. Hey, where do you think you're going? 
I'm sorry, Straub. I'm so, so sorry. I, I never did anything with him, I promise. I... Hey, let go of me. Hey, come on. Shush. That's fine, I told you. You're making way too big of a deal out of this. Come here. Yeah. There we go. I'm sorry. You're my it's best okay. friend and I don't mean to do it. I just... I know it's not an excuse, but... Oh, will you stop it already? I told you already that it's fine. You're my best friend. He's my boyfriend. You like him. Which is totally understandable if you ask me. Because he's really awesome. And nobody loves me. And that's why I'm not the tiniest bit worried. The only thing that upsets me right now is that you're beating yourself up over it. I'm so, so sorry. And you knew the whole time? Well, again, sweetness, you aren't exactly being subtle about it. At this rate, frankly, I am surprised you didn't work it out. Well, but then he is oblivious, I guess. Man, before we started dating, I had to quite literally throw myself at him so he'd finally realize I was flirting with him. Uh, oh, my gosh, I can never look him in the eye again. What if he finds out? Ah, uh, sweetness... Don't you worry about that. Things being as they are, I reckon he did just now. What? Oh, you didn't know? He can probably hear every word we're saying right now. Our bedroom has really thin walls. We always have to make sure to be quiet in bed not to wake you up. It will probably have been nicer of me to tell you beforehand. Huh. Oh yeah, I know, I know I'm such a meanie, am I not? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is not happening. This is a nightmare. I gotta... Uh... No, calm down already. I told you, it's fine. Stay here. Stop making a fuss. Wow, are you hyperventilating? Girl, you are really overdoing no, it. No, I, I gotta go. Go where? It's the middle of the night. I don't know. Anywhere. Back to my room? To Alaska? To North Korea? It doesn't matter. This is so freaking embarrassing. I just want to go. You know what would help you calm down? Some nice warm cuddles. Come on. Come back to bed. You cannot be serious. Why not? Come on. You owe me one. I can't feel my feet anymore because you made me stand on the cold hardwood floor out here. And I swear, I will put them on your tummy as a deterrent so you never again get the idea to ask me for a private conversation in the hallway when I don't have my fluffy socks on. If you knew the whole time, then why do you still want to do this? Why do you want to do this to me? Will you stop painting me as the bad guy here? I thought I'd be doing you a favor. A favor? Yeah, I mean, you're so shy and awkward around boys. I thought this would be a good opportunity for you to practice. So you'll stop blushing like a freshman from Catholic school every time a boy talks to you. You gotta get some chill, or you'll never get a boyfriend at this rate. And you thought I should practice on your boyfriend? Yeah, why not? I mean, you already know him, he knows you. You two are friends, so there's no high stakes to it. You can just safely try out some... Techniques or something. Plus, you know that he's together with me anyway, so you don't need to worry about being rejected or whatever. Nothing's gotta be awkward. Nothing's gotta be embarrassing. You just got a safe, risk free environment to work through your shyness. That is not at all how this works. You gotta be crazy. Well, whatever. In that case, you'll just get some cuddles and be nice and warm for tonight. Isn't that nice, too? So, come on now. I'm freezing my toes off out here. No, 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 no. Alright, honey. Sorry for the interruption. We just needed to have a little girl talk. So, how is it? Did you nicely heat up my blankets for me while I was away? Wait, when do you have both your legs peeking out from under my pile of blankets? You were too hot. Are you kidding me? Well, never mind. I promise you won't be too hot anymore. 
once you got the two of us snuggling up to you to leech your body warmth. How will you stop it? It's bad enough after deal with her being all awkward and uncooperative about this, so don't you start objecting to my cuddle program for tonight as well. I don't have the patience to argue with both of you anymore. I'm tired. My feet are cold. And you know how I can get? It's like this thing where an animal gets extra dangerous when they're wounded. So shut up already and cuddle me. Hey, what are you waiting for? Get in here. This is not happening. This is not happening. This is not happening. Mm-hmm. Ah, finally. Now, was that so bad? So then, can we snuggle now? Alright, just cuddle into him. We need to thoroughly warm you up before you lose a couple of limbs to frostbite. Listen, dude, I am really sorry. This was not my idea. Man, listening to you, one could think I was torturing you or something. Now. Get over here already. Wow, man, you are cold. Seems like we took you in not a moment too early. You know what? Maybe we should sandwich you. That way you would get the double heat package, you know? Like upper and lower heat. You'll be nice and toasty in no time. Just you wait. I, I want to get out of here. I want to go to my room. Oh, just ignore her. She doesn't know what she wants. Come on, just put your arms around her already. She's cold. Can't you see how she's shivering? What? Yeah, she's not comfortable, but that's her own damn fault for being so awkward. Just snuggle into her already. She'll warm up to it in no time. Believe me. Excuse me? I'm not bullying her, are you crazy? Deep down, she is really into it. I'm doing her a favor. Huh? Oh, why are you getting all flustered now? Damn it, you are even worse than her. Okay, Straub, I know you are somehow very nonchalant about this, and you are somehow very sure that everything is going to be alright, but I am kind of freaking out right now because I'm really worried that this is going to ruin our friendship, and your relationship, and my friendship with him, and that's why I'm asking you. No, I'm begging you. Just... Let me... Now, stop squirming already. You're kicking off my blankets. Alright, you stop it now or I'll tell him the story of the wheelbarrow. Hey. <laughs> okay, okay, I won't. Sheesh. Man, I don't even know what your problem is. It's such a fun story. A completely flattened cauliflower patch and a half a dozen severely traumatized chickens are not my idea of a fun story. Uh... Yeah, whatever. Just keep still already so I can snuggle into you. I still have cold feet, and I can't reach my darling like this, so you'll have oh, to. if that's your problem, I can just get up and leave the two of you alone so you can put your ice-cold feet on. Not a chance. I finally maneuvered you into the perfect cuddle position, so I'm not letting go of you before it's time for breakfast. Wait, you know what? Make that lunch. I'm really tired, and you unnecessarily kept me awake with your baseless complaints. So you brought this upon yourself, sweetie. But what if- Shush! No more what ifs. Stop overthinking everything. You're building this up to way more of a big deal than it actually is. We're just cuddling. That's all. It's nothing scary. I'm not scared. Um, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I am scared. <sighs> Sweetie, don't you worry. You don't need to be scared of him. I'll be here all night to protect you. I promise. It's not him that I'm scared of right now. Oh? Well, in that case, you'll have him to protect you from me. Either way, you're safe and protected. Isn't that a comforting thought? Oh, goodness, you're still shivering. Are you still cold? Darling, you're not hugging her tightly enough. Seriously. What are you even doing? You call that spooning? Get in there already. Man, one could almost think you were deliberately trying to touch her as little as possible. No, no, it's fine. I'm not actually that cold. 
This is all right. There's no need to. Then what is it, sweetie? Are you still nervous, honey? Maybe you should do that thing where you nuzzle into her nape. You know, that always helps to calm me down when I'm agitated. Huh? Why not? Oh, will you stop being so difficult already? Why is everybody here always trying to come up with reasons why we shouldn't do this? <sighs> Alright, I'll do it myself. Here, turn around. Rob, I really think you're getting fixated on something here and maybe you should take a step back and- Yo, for real now, can't we just have some harmless, uncomplicated snuggles? Come on, sweetie, just nuzzle into me. Everything's gonna be fine, don't worry. This is a mistake. I'm not actually all that cold. I'll be fine on my own, I promise. Oh, uh, we stop it already. Okay, fine. Alright. You are forcing me to employ methods I originally wanted to avoid. Hey, what are you- <sighs> <laughs> Not that cold, huh? Girl, these feet feel like Queen Elsa's ice cube tray during a blizzard in winter. And I'm giving up some of my sparse and precious body heat to thaw them up. I hope you're happy now. Um, thank you, I guess. But I still think this is a very bad idea, and we shouldn't- You're not cold anymore, are you? Well, um, no, I- Well, uh, see? Isn't that the main thing? Come on, I'm tired. Just stop complaining already. You've been whining all day about being cold, and now you're whining all night about not wanting to get warmed up. Can't you just relax and enjoy it? I mean, nobody else here has any problem with doing this, right? Hey, you shut up, darling. I told you we're not asking you. Are you really sure this is alright? 100%. There's no problem unless we turn it into one. Do you want problems? Um, well... No, I... See? What about you, honey? Huh? Oh, come on, don't listen to him. He's just trying to weasel out of having to warm both of us up. He doesn't have a problem either. <sighs> come on, everybody. Enough with the bickering. We should really try to sleep now. So, are you comfortable now? I am, I think. Excellent. What about you, hun? Oh, for real now? Are you getting cold? Well, in that case, I reckon there is but one solution. Snuggle into us a bit more tightly. Huh? What is it? Why not? No. She's not uncomfortable. Oh, you two are just the worst. You're lucky I love you. Hey, Straw. What? Good night. <sighs> Good night and sweet dreams, kitty. See? These snuggles were worth it, huh? I'd never let you down. <laughs>